In today's video, we are going to show you how to connect MailChimp into Google Analytics. So let's begin. Now, before we proceed into the next stage, make sure that your Google campaign is already running here so that we can integrate MailChimp to Analytics without any problems. All right. So log in using your account and then head over to your MailChimp account. So from here on the left, side of the dashboard you need to hover down into integrations so it depends on the uh, version that you are using but what i have is just go down here in integrations and click on connect apps and integrations um, option if you can see that in your uh, platform you might want to type in google analytics but basically if you type in google analytics will be uh, on top of the search as you can see from here, click on that. All right, so from here, you can connect Google Analytics to MailChimp to unlock powerful insights with campaign engagement data and tracking. As, as earlier, I've mentioned that you have to be ready with your Google Analytics campaign so that when you integrate these two platforms, it's going to be easier for you. And all you're going to do is click the orange button here, click on that. And you will be forwarded to a new page wherein just click on connect. All right. And there's like a small information here that integrations connect your MailChimp account to the apps and tools you have. And of course, you are trying to connect to Google Analytics. Click on that. And after following the on-screen instructions, as you can see, the Google integrations is successfully set up. All right. And you have an option here to 10s connection. When you click on that, what will happen is you will be forwarded to the Google Analytics dashboard, especially if you have an active campaign. And you also have the option to disconnect any time you want it, all right? Just click on disconnect here. I also just wanted to point out that in case you don't have an authorized account to a Google Analytics, what will happen is you will receive an error such as this one so that means again as i've mentioned in the first part of our the video is to make sure you have a google analytics and the campaign is active all right and thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video